had some brunch and so we're now walking and trying to find a place to have some good dessert and like hang out. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy watching this video. Bye. <laughs> so we're here at Paneyagi. <laughs> Which is, yeah, we're gonna just look around and like have, look at some like sewing stuff and probably get some dessert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Paneyaki basically means like it translates into noodle story and so this place is mostly like they sell some books and like on how to knit and sew and crochet and they also sell some like products that you can buy that are already made and towards the back here they sell a lot of like yarn and it comes with tutorials on stuff that you can sew and make your own and again here are some just like already made products there's some like really cute stuff actually like i would buy these hand warmers <laughs> they look cute or like these scarves you know and in the back again more yarn it's a pretty big place but it's actually pretty cool i'm somebody who can't crochet knit sew any of that but i still like to look around because it's really fun yeah here are just some packets of like the different tutorials you can do and like sewing kits they sell and personally i really like this yarn because it's actually so soft and fluffy so i've already bought a couple of these um no i have not actually sewn anything because i don't know how but i am planning to learn on it look how cute these are <laughs> wait is this a tomato oh these are cherries though. what's this is it a tomato or like a strawberry i think it's a tomato it's a tomato right okay these are cute Cheese. What's this one? It's a pineapple. Pineapple. Wait, why is pineapple under the sea? Because it's SpongeBob. Oh, SpongeBob! I thought of Little Mermaid. I was like, why is pineapple in there? Yeah. Anyways, here are some like other products that you can buy that are already made. And if you want, like each of these has a tag so that you can ask the um, the store like clerk to help you find it and then you can make your own version after picking out like the color and type of yarn you want modeling <laughs> it looks good on you though they're so fluffy <laughs> look how fluffy these are it's like a cloud look how nice these are so fluffy it's a nice one <laughs> I'm gonna actually learn how to crochet and say, oh, wait, no, look at this. Oh, look at these. Egg and bread. So wait, this is like a wait, no, so this actually so soft. No, it reminds me of like the, you know, like those really trendy like tracksuits. It's that feel. Look at this. It would make nice a blanket. Is that toast? Toast. Oh, look at these flowers. You can make your own. What's this for? Oh, it's a coaster. That's cute. <laughs> Try it on. <laughs> Model. <laughs> Your eyes really like make it shine. <laughs> Can't see them. Sorry. A lot of hats. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs for some drinks and food now. Some button bread and it's a drink menu. And look at these. I want one of them. They look so nice. <laughs> so they have the button bread here and basically it's like filled with either red bean paste, which is um, it really similar to like a traditional Korean like sort of dessert. It's really popular and also custard cream. Usually these breads aren't buttons and they're like either fish in the shape of a fish or sometimes in like a walnut shape but they're doing buttons here because it goes with like this whole sewing needle theme. Yeah, it's really cute. And you can also see how they're making it like in the back. They also have like um, a cute terrace space where you can get your food and drink and eat out here. Okay, so over here, I wanted to show you guys like this stuff. Um, wait, let me get some B-roll for like a better angle. Yeah, so as you can see, it's like really cute. Look how good that Oreo cake is there. That looks delicious. I could eat that a lot. That's actually skill though. <laughs> yeah, I must have taken like a lot of good work because they actually did like a really good job with it. Look at that. 
So cute. We're sitting away from everybody. They have like a lot of space there in the back. Yeah, but we wanted to sit separately, so we're gonna sit here. Mm. Food is out. I don't have my mask. Oh, I don't either. Waiting on. I need my mask. Cheers. I'll stop filming so we can eat. Oh. <laughs> Is that your version of a cheers? I'm so much like that they got stuck in between each other. <laughs> so we finished eating our food and we're heading back out now. Um, overall, I think this place had like. Well, you can see yourselves in there. Oh, it was really good, guys. Yeah, it was like good food, and also we got to look at a lot of like the knitting and like stuff. Um, even if you're like me and don't know how to crochet or sew or anything fabric related, other than you like looking at it, I still recommend it. And yeah, next time I want to try the button bread thing because mm. that's like really similar to like the Korean like traditional like kimopang type dessert. And yeah, I'll like explain it later on when I'm editing this video probably, but yeah, it's really cool. So to tell you guys a little bit about the Korean snack pungopang, it's basically a fish-shaped pastry where pungop translates to carpfish and pang means bread. So it's a snack that's filled with traditionally red bean paste, but these days I found it's often filled with uh, custard and also it has some chocolate filling variations so as you can imagine there's quite a bit of options of pungopang fillings you can find and choose from pungopang is one of south korea's more popular street food snacks especially in the winter time where as you can imagine like during colder weather it's really nice to be able to war eat uh, warm pastries so yeah i just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about pungopang if you're still here watching the video then thanks for watching <laughs> Bye!